Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a little different. I am going to be unboxing our home birth kit. I can't believe we're actually to this point in my pregnancy. So it is time to get this thing open and see what is all in here and make sure that everything that we are going to need is in it. <laughs> and this birth kit is specific to our birth center. So this box isn't just the only things we're going to be needing to gather for our home birth. There are other things that I'm going to be prepping for as well, but I just wanted to kind of keep this video specific to just what's inside this kit. I've got my checklist here. Okay, so this first item looks like some kind of drape or cloth. I imagine these might be the attendant shaped pads is my guess. There are two irrigation bottles in here, one instant cold pack, two mesh briefs, one newborn hat. These might actually be the attendant shaped pads. Either way, they're supposed to be six and they are all there. There are a handful and then some of under pads. These are going to protect the bed, the sheet. Alright, so I figured it out. These first original blue themes are actually the plastic backed sheets. These are going to be the 12 under pads of heavy absorbency and then 10 under pads of moderate absorbency. These types of pads are even great if you start doing potty training at night with your little ones to put in the crib and help protect the mattress. There are two sterile single gloves and three sterile pair of gloves. Six non-woven gauze sponges. A thermometer. A couple straws an emergency vitamin C pack, two alcohol prep pads, two lubricating jellies, and I saved the best two for last. Uh, this first one being Arnica Massage Oil. It soothes and tones with a warming effect, um, something that's even just kind of great after like a good workout. And then the organic sits bath herbs. I cannot say enough about these herbs. I did not get to use them with my first two pregnancies and I used them with Lucas and it felt like it sped the healing time up just completely in half. It's got in here candua flowers and I'm sure that has a pretty good reason why which is also something that's really great like if your baby's starting to get diaper rash or whatever you can just do a little mesh on the bottom or even rinse or even give the baby a sits bath in these herbs and they even helps like prevent yeast and all that which can happen in areas that are moist like in a baby's diaper. It's got comfrey leaves which is really great, lavender flowers, plantain leaves which is something that's really awesome to help heal the skin after a sunburn rosebuds or petals which are also really great like after a sunburn, rosemary leaves, sage leaves, uva yersari which I think is something that's really great for like healing any bruising or bruises, yarrow flowers, and sea salt. The ladies made this up for me and I used every last bit of it and I even contemplated reordering these just to keep on hand like a couple other times when Micah had gotten a sunburn and I felt really bad for him because I probably should have encouraged him to put sunblock on that day or there was even a time where it looked like Lucas was kind of starting to get a little yeasty on his bottom and luckily I had some tea with Candula flowers in it and ended up just making sure to keep them really dry and change often. Which, if you use um, cloth diapers, you can even tend to get a little more 
moisture against the skin because the diapers have the ab absorbent stuff in them that pulls it away from the skin more. So this is like should be any expecting mom or mother have on hand. This birth kit came from Radiant Belly. You can find it online. I will leave the link to this website in the description below for you guys. And that's it for what is in our home birth kit. There were a couple other optional items that I did not get, which is cramp bar tincture. I've never used that before. And with it being my fourth pregnancy, I kind of felt like I will probably be okay. Hopefully one that I don't regret not getting. Garbage bags, which we have plenty of. Um, rescue remedy, which is kind of a stress relief. And I have a bunch of essential oils that I like to use for stress relief. If, uh, if needed, so I didn't order that, and then even Ziploc bags, which I have plenty of those too. Everything was there. It is good to go, so I'm going to get this packed back up nice and neat, so when the ladies come, they can check and make sure that we've got it all, and we are set. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today's unboxing video. I know it was kind of quick and kind of random for our channel. I just thought it would be fun for some of you to see what kind of things go into preparation for having a home birth. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new and want to follow us on our YouTube journey, please be sure to subscribe. And if you think there's someone else that might find this video interesting, please feel free to share it with them. We'll see you in our next video. Bye!